Hi guys, welcome to this video on how to make a quiz for free with our house slides. In a quiz, you present trivia questions from your computer. Your players see the questions on their phones and compete to answer the most questions correctly. It's easier, faster and way more convenient than a pen and paper quiz. So let's get into how to make a quiz on our house slides. First, we need to quickly sign up for a free Our House Slides account. I'm just going to click the Get Started button here and I'll register my email, password and name. Great, so we have our new free account. I'm going to make a simple quiz, so let's start with a blank presentation. OK, so this is the Our House Slides editor where I can make my quiz. I need to choose my first slide, so I'm going to come down to the Quiz and Game section here and choose one of these three quiz slide types for my first quiz question. Let's start with a pick answer slide. You can see here that a leaderboard slide will also generate after my pick answer slide. The leaderboard shows the current standings for the quiz, but I'll explain about that later. So I'm going to write the trivia question for my pick answer slide in here. Then I'll write the answer options in here. I can have up to eight answer options, but for now I'll just go with four. I'll check this box to mark this answer as correct, and I'll scroll down to the settings. In the settings I can choose the time limit and the points range for this question, as well as toggle a few other settings on or off. I'll set my time limit to 30 seconds, and I'm going to change the points range as well. Because the setting faster answers get more points is turned on, my participants can now score a maximum of 50 and a minimum of 0 points, depending on how quickly they answer correctly. Okay. That'll do for my first question, but I'm going to need to add a few more questions. So I'm going to click on the leaderboard and then up here on create new slide. Doing this means the new slide will be placed after my leaderboard slide. This time I'm going to create a type answer slide. Again, another leaderboard slide will generate right after it. So the four slides in my quiz so far are pick answer, leaderboard, type answer and another leaderboard. Great, so I'll write my question in here. Now this slide type offers no multiple choice. It requires my players to type in the answer on their phones. So I'll write the answer in here, and players will have to match this exactly to get this question correct. If I want to accept misspellings, or any other answers, I can write them under Other Accepted Answers. Don't worry if you don't cover every misspelling, you'll be able to handpick answers to mark as correct later on when your players have already answered the question. As you can see, the settings on this slide have carried over from my Pick Answer slide, so there's no need to change anything here. OK, great. Let's test out my whole quiz so far. I'm going to go to my first slide and then press the present button up here. Now I'm going to join my presentation on my phone. To join the quiz, I can either type the URL at the top of this slide into my phone, or I can scan this QR code with my phone camera. So here's my phone screen. I'll just type the URL into my browser. And now I've joined the quiz on my phone. When the first question of the quiz is being presented, your players will be asked to write their name and choose an avatar. So I'll just do that now. And now I'm ready to play. On the computer, the quiz master will see the lobby screen. This shows who's ready to play. So when all my players are ready, I'll press start the quiz. The questions come up on the quiz master screen and the quiz player screen. I'll select the right answer on my phone, then click Submit. On my phone I can see that I got this right, while the Quizmaster can see the full bar chart of how many players chose which answers. When the Quizmaster moves on to the next slide, we can see the leaderboard in the quiz so far. A leaderboard slide will reveal how many points each player has won for every question that goes before it. This is the first leaderboard slide, so it tells me my position and how many points I got in the first question. Awesome, OK, moving on to the next question. This is my type answer question, so I have to type the answer as quickly as I can to get as many points as possible. I've spelt it wrong here, but that's OK, because this misspelling was one of the ones I marked as acceptable earlier when I made the slide. OK, moving on to the final leaderboard. My points count here is a tally of all of my points in the quiz so far. Because this is the final leaderboard of the quiz, it also announces the winner of the whole quiz, which is me. After you've tested the quiz and it's ready to be played by real players, you'll need to remove the responses that you just made on your own slides. 
To do that, simply come to the results tab in the top toolbar and scroll down to the bottom where you can see clear data. Press that and all the response data you entered from your phone will be erased. OK, the last thing I want to show you is a couple of extra settings for quizzes. To find them, click on Settings in the top toolbar and then Quiz Settings. Here you can choose whether or not to have a 5 second countdown before each question to give your players time to read it before they answer. And here you can choose to have players compete in teams rather than individually. If you select this, you'll be asked to set up your teams. Start by typing in how many teams will be playing and the maximum number of players you will have in each team. Next, you can choose how each team scores their points for each question. With team play enabled, when players are joining your quiz, they'll be asked to join one of the teams you set up. On the leaderboard, the team scores will be shown, but you can also click show individual ranking to see the individual scores of all the players. Lastly, if you want to let your players complete a quiz in their own time without needing you there to present it, then under settings in the toolbar, click who takes the lead. Select audience. Now, whoever joins your quiz will be able to go through the questions whenever they want and see their rankings on the leaderboard against everyone else who played before them. And that's it. That's how you create and run a quiz on AHA Slides. Remember to check back regularly to see new quiz slide types and check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys.